Namaste and welcome to Wellness Mantra and we're back on our chair today. This time we're not going to be just confined sitting on the chair but we will try and use this chair as a prop to support us during our practice. So are you ready? Let's begin. Sit on your chair, make sure your spine is nice and straight, tall and when you're ready let's start. Breathe in just observe yourself for a moment, keep your eyes closed, inhale and feel that air reach to all parts of your body, oxygenating it, nourishing it and as you breathe out, feel all that negativity in you just coming out. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. All right, are you ready? Put your hands out and try and bring a 90 degree angle between your palm and your wrist and go one, two, three and four. Now one, two, three and four. Good job. Now wrist rotation. One, two, three and four. The opposite way. One, two, three and four. Very good. Now keep one palm facing towards the opposite side. Using the other palm, pull your hand towards you. One, two, three, four. With the other side. One, two, three and four. Good job. All right. Now let's just give a hand a nice stretch. Interlocking your fingers, stretching it in front of you once. Breathe. Normally as you stay there, feel the stretch in your shoulders and back. Breathe out and bring it in. This time we're going to raise it upwards. Breathe in and out. Now take your hands behind you and stretch and breathe out and release. Good job. All right. Now what do we do? Slowly move to the front of your mat. Make sure your feet is on the ground. We're just going to give a little bit of a warm up for our legs, which means we're going to do one, two, three and four. On your toes, one, two, on your heels, three and four. The opposite, one, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Good job. And now, for all those who were not able to do those asanas that I was doing in my previous classes, just because your hamstrings wouldn't stretch, you used to use, lose balance and you're unable to stand uh, in a balanced fashion with all those asanas. Let's still try and reap the benefits of those asanas while we're seated. So sit back into your chair, make sure you have enough space in the front and try to move your knees to the side. Now, when you get ready, we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to put our elbow into the chair and stretch our hand up. Stay there, enjoy that twist and gently bring it down. Let's try it to the other side. Breathe in and stay. When you breathe out, lower your arm into the chair. See if you can hold the chair, lift. Stay there, breathe a few seconds, breathe normally, look through your fingers into the sky. Slowly bring it down and now if you feel more adventurous, the way we have to do it is try and lean down, place your palm on the ground and stretch your hand up. Stay there and breathe normally. Breathe out and bring it down. Now the other side. Stay and breathe normally. 
feel the twist in your spine feel that back stretch out feel the pressure build up in your face you get all the benefits of standing in a trikonasana especially with opening up your chest stretching out your arms slowly place both your hands down and walk your way up gently all right now for our next step now for this we're going to get out of our chairs and see how we can use the chair as a prop to do other asanas so for this is for those people and my viewers who have messaged me saying that you've got a knee concern and you can't do most of the asanas where you're required to sit down so whenever you have a knee problem and you can't sit down in vajrasana you still have to find out and figure out a way how to do the rest of the stretches so here's a alternate or a a day that you can still continue to do most of the asanas that we do sitting down with the support of a chair so use a chair which is almost the height of your knees and place your hands in front on the chairs okay try and see if you can put the entire palm down now see if you can keep your back nice and straight as you breathe in i want you to turn your tailbone and head upwards and as you breathe out we're going to twirl pull the head in along with our tailbone now if you want to bend your knees here you may do so breathe in and stretch it out breathe out and pull it in breathe in and out so this is the mari jasana or the famous cat cow postures variation using the support of a chair breathe in and feel that tailbone and head turn upwards point upwards sink your abdomen inwards downwards and as you breathe out i want you to pull your tailbone in along with your head hunching your back one last round breathe in and out all right that was easy wasn't it all right now for the next set of chair assisted yoga practice now we're going to go into chaturanga dandasana or the plank posture for this again put your hands on the chair and step back see if you can place your feet uh, entirely on the ground which means your heels sink into the ground please make sure that you practice with your chair on a surface that doesn't skid if you do this otherwise there is a chance of your chair slipping out and you getting injured so please make sure the chair is nicely and firmly placed on a yoga mat or any surface that doesn't skid all right now from here this is what i want you to try lifting up your heels and then sinking it into the ground i know it isn't easy but i want you to feel that stretch and your calf muscles feel the entire hamstring stretch as you hold it there all right breathe in lift breathe out and sink it down slowly getting into a plank breathe in lift breathe out and getting into a plank good job now from here we're going to walk one leg forward and try sinking in sinking your hip in trying to place your heels on the ground as you do so and we'll take the other leg back and the other leg forward and sink in one two three 
here you'd notice that because you're supporting your hands and your body is balanced you'll find that you have more focus on your legs and you'll feel that stretch all along your calf muscles as you stretch back and try to sink your heels into the ground all right now we're trying to lift our knees towards our forehead see if you can breathe in stay here breathe out pull your knee to your forehead place it back breathe in and breathe out breathe out and bring your knee to your forehead it isn't as easy as it looks but it's exciting and down it works perfectly for your abs and down breathe out and breathe in breathe out and in breathe out and in breathe out and in all right from here i want you to try and push your tailbone backwards sinking your body into the ground now placing your hands like this will ensure that you don't hunch so i want you to try and push your tailbone backwards easy does it and see if you can sink your head into your hands this assisted posture will actually help you to keep your back straight like a table enjoy staying there breathe normally feel your hamstrings stretch out i want you to see how much you can pull your body upper body or your torso downwards this will help you prepare for your pada hastasana breathe in come back into the plank and stay engage your core muscles as you stay there slowly walk your leg forward and relax your arms just because you're using a lot of your arms over there there is a possibility that you feel strained at your arms so once you take your arms off or your hand off please massage your wrist out for you all right so whenever we have a chair or something similar there is a lot of ways that we can actually use it even while sitting at home so for example you can do a step up with the chair so let's try and do a few step ups so step ups all you need to do is keep the chair like that we'll alternate our legs as we do the step ups um, so this will actually help strengthen our legs a little more and here we go hands on the hip or hands can be anywhere all right starting with your right leg place your right leg on the floor, on the chair and step up and step down with your right leg now left leg up and go up and step down with your left leg right leg up step up and down left leg up step up and down right leg up step up and down left leg up step up and down all right one more time one two three and four one two three and four now if you want to challenge yourself a little more with the chair the one way that you can work out is use the headrest to support your hands and now try and see if you can lift your leg upwards like that one this is good for your back muscles it helps to strengthen your back muscles gives you a good support for your back and let's try doing that again breathe in two breathe in three breathe in four breathe in five breathe in and six all right now with the other leg breathe in one breathe in two breathe in three breathe in four breathe in 
five breathe in six good job you can still use your chair use the headrest as or the backrest as support and put one hand on the hip and try lifting it sideways one two three four five and six now to the other side there you go one two three four five and six good job all right now we'll still use the support of the chair to actually do a wide squat okay so for this you place the chair in front of you put your legs by the side try to open up your feet and use the chair to sink into that squat you can do these without the chair as well but just as uh, many of my viewers happen to say that all those postures seem very difficult when they try to do it I'm trying to make it easy by using a prop so go down as you breathe out make sure you don't brace your knees inwards I want you to try and push your knees out so that you feel the stretch in your groin region and you feel the strength in your thigh muscles breathe in and come up breathe out and lower yourself breathe in come up breathe out and go down so i want you to keep practicing these and i'll soon come back without the chair and that's when we all start doing the actual thing all right so please prepare yourself with this exercise of breathing out and going down breathing in and coming back breathing out and going down breathing in and coming back you feel a nice stretch in your groin region as you do this and up feel that stretch all the way inside try making your body parallel to the ground and come back all right so that was with the body stretches let's cool down a bit sit down on your chair eyes closed relax breathe in open your eyes stretch your arms out in front of you cross your right arm towards your left side now hold your right arm with your left hand so make a um, elbow with your left hand and pull the right hand so you feel a nice tug along your shoulder let it just stretch out release now pull your left hand into your right side use your right arm to create an elbow and pull feel that nice stretch let it just stretch for you and release finally stepping forward in your chair let's just stretch back breathe out and release one more time stretch back and release one final run stretch back and release sit back into your chair let's just take a little moment to contemplate on what we want to do for the day eyes closed bring your focus and attention to your breath observe the cool air as you breathe in and the warm air that you breathe out understand that your body is your temple and with each practice you are strengthening your body cleansing it purifying it very gently as you breathe in with a beautiful smile on your lips slowly open your eyes Let's just hope that peace be restored, we all have peace of mind and we be happy, healthy and safe. I'll see you later. Until then, goodbye.